In the heart of Piraeus, Greece's bustling port city, Olympiakos Football Club emerged from the merger of two local teams. No one could have predicted how this modest start would turn into one of football's most inspiring stories. For nearly a century, they've been known as Thrillos, the legend, a nickname earned through decades of domestic dominance. But in 2024, they would write their most extraordinary chapter yet, transforming from a club in turmoil to European champions in a journey that defied all odds. I just want to point out, I am not Greek, and I'm probably going to mispronounce a couple of things here, so please bear with me uh, and enjoy the video. On March 10th, 1925, Olympiakos was founded to cultivate and develop its athletes for participation in athletic competitions. This was to spread Olympic ideals and to promote sportsmanship among the youth based on egalitarian principles. The Andrianopolis family, prominent Piraeus merchants, played a critical role in the club's establishment. The five brothers, Giannis, Dinos, Georgios, Vasilis, and Leonidas, became central figures in raising the club's profile, with four of them becoming the first to play for the club. Olympiakos quickly established themselves as a force to be reckoned with in Greek football. They set a remarkable record by going undefeated for three consecutive seasons from 1926 to 1929, a feat that earned them the moniker Thrillos from the Greek press. This period of early dominance set the stage for what would become a century-long legacy of success. The 1930s saw Olympiakos cement its status as Greek's premier club. They clinched their first Pan-Hellenic Championship in the 1930-31 season, marking the beginning of an era that would see them win five championships in that decade alone. The club's growing reputation was bolstered by prolific players and a style of play that captured the imagination of football fans across the country. World War II brought a pause to formal competitions, but it also highlighted the deep connection between Olympiakos and the Greek people. Many of the club's players fought for their country, with some joining the Greek resistance. The story of Nikos Godas, a club captain executed by the Germans who famously requested to be shot wearing his Olympiakos shirt, became a symbol of the club's significance beyond the football pitch. In the post-war years, Olympiakos' dominance reached new heights. Between 1946 and 59, they claimed nine Greek championships, including an unprecedented run of six consecutive titles from 54 to 59. This period also saw them secure eight Greek Cups, completing six league and cup doubles. The red and white of Olympiakos had become synonymous with the Greek football success. As Greek football began to engage more with the European stage, Olympiakos led the way. In 1959, they became the first Greek club to compete in European competition, facing off against the mighty AC Milan in the European Cup. Although they were eliminated, their performance against one of Europe's giants showed that Greek football could compete at the highest level. The 1960s brought further success and milestones. Olympiakos continued their domestic dominance while also making strides in international competition. In 1963, they became the first Greek club to win an international trophy, claiming the Balkans Cup. This victory was a source of immense pride, not just for Olympiakos fans, but for Greek football as a whole. However, the path of a legendary club is never smooth, and Olympiakos faced their share of challenges in the following decades. The late 1970s and 1980s saw periods of struggle, including a painful nine-year title drought from 1988 to 96, a period that became known as the Stone Years. Yet, even in these difficult times, the club managed to secure Greek Cup victories in 90 and 92. The return to glory began in the mid-1990s, coinciding with broader changes in Greek and European football. Under new ownership and with fresh investment, Olympiakos embarked on one of the most successful periods in their history. From 97 to 2003, they claimed seven consecutive Greek championships, reasserting their dominance in the domestic game. This domestic success translated into more frequent and impressive performances in European competition. 
the highlight of this era came in the 98-99 UEFA Champions League campaign where Olympiacos reached the quarterfinals, narrowly missing out on the semifinals after a closely fought tie with Juventus. These performances against Europe's elite clubs helped establish Olympiacos as Greece's flag bearer in continental competitions. The turn of the millennium saw Olympiacos continue to evolve. They attracted high-profile players and managers, further enhancing their reputation both at home and abroad. The club became regulars in the Champions League group stages, often competing against and sometimes defeating some of the biggest names in European football. However, it was the 23-24 season that would etch Olympiacos' name into the annals of European football history. The season began under a cloud of uncertainty. The club was struggling domestically. This poor form led to a managerial merry-go-round that saw three different managers take the helm in quick succession. First, Diego Martinez was sacked in December after a disappointing start to the season. His replacement, Carlos Carvajal, lasted just two months before making way for Jose Luis Mendilibar. This period of instability mirrored the situation at Napoli following their Scudetto win, creating an atmosphere of uncertainty around the club. Despite these challenges, Olympiacos managed to secure a spot in the Europa League group stage. They finished third in their group, which allowed them to transfer to the Europa Conference League. It was in this competition that their remarkable journey began. The turning point came in the round of 16 against Maccabi Tel Aviv. After suffering a shock 4-1 defeat at home, Olympiacos' European adventure seemed all but over. However, in one of the greatest comebacks in European football history, they won the return leg 6-1 in extra time with only 49 loyal supporters present in the stadium. This victory made them the only club to overturn a three-goal home deficit in UEFA competitions. Buoyed by this miraculous comeback, Olympiacos continued to defy the odds. In the quarterfinals, they faced Fenerbahce in a thrilling tie that went to penalties. It was here that 21-year-old goalkeeper Konstantinos Tsokolis emerged as a hero, saving three penalties to secure Olympiacos' first ever appearance in a European semifinal. The semifinals pitted them against Aston Villa, a club enjoying a strong season under the guidance of a European specialist in Unai Emery. Against all expectation, Olympiacos dominated the tie, winning 6-2 on aggregate. The final held on May 29th at the Agia Sophia Stadium, home of their rivals AEK Athens, was a tense affair against Fiorentina. The match remained scoreless after 90 minutes, and as extra time wore on, penalties seemed inevitable. But in the 116th minute, Olympiacos found the breakthrough. A crucial header secured a 1-0 victory, making Olympiacos the first Greek club to win a UEFA competition. This triumph sent shockwaves through European football, especially considering the fact after their loss at home to Maccabi Tel Aviv, they had just a 0.1% chance to win the cup. A club that had started the season in disarray had ended it by making history. The victory has been hailed as one of the greatest achievements in Greek football history, rivaling even the national team's shock Euro 2004 victory. Throughout their storied existence, Olympiacos has amassed an impressive 47 Greek championships and 28 Greek cups, but it's this European triumph that truly cements their status as legends of Greek and European football. Their journey from domestic giants to European champions, especially overcoming the managerial chaos of the 23-24 season, is a testament to the club's resilience and ambition. From a modest start to lifting a European trophy, Olympiacos FC has truly lived up to its legendary status. Their story is one of passion, perseverance, and ultimately triumph against all odds. As they look to the future with further ambitions of European success, one thing is clear, the legend of Olympiacos is far from over. In fact, it may be entering its most exciting chapter yet.